Folks, today is an auspicious day, June the 8th, 2023. Every year on this date, I do a video just to remind everybody of what happened on June 8, 2020. In this case, three years ago. And I'll do this every year as a celebration of what happened in a simple interview they went on for about 28 minutes between uh, Muhammad Hijab on one side and Dr. Yasar Qadi on the other. You probably know what I'm talking about. This is the standard Islamic narrative has holes in it. This is the interview where Yasar Qadi pretty much threw the Quran under the bus. <laughs> he did not know that people were watching. He didn't know that we were watching or that we were recording it and that we now have that entire interview. So every June 8th, we, we bring it up again just to remind Muslims when this idea of the preservation of the Quran was finally eradicated. Now, what do I mean by the preservation of the Quran? Well, let's just look and see at what people have been saying. And these are a, a number of friends of mine. Yeah, as many of you probably know them as well. These are Muslims on the internet. Look and see what they say about the Quran. Our claim the Muslim claim has been for the last 14 centuries that the Quran is absolutely word by word preserved. Word by word. And frankly, you know, the Quran has been preserved, we believe, word for word, letter for letter. Have no doubt whatsoever that the Quran has been preserved to the letter, to the dot and to the sound when we talk about this. Their Quran is exactly the same. The Quran shall remain uncorrupted, untouched and unchallenged until the day of judgment. The Quran that we read is exactly the one that was given to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Word for word, letter by letter, surah by surah. It was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu and preserved word by word, letter by letter, harf by harf, even the pronunciation is preserved. So you can see, this is pretty much normal. This is what you'll hear from Muslims everywhere, not just from Yasar Qadi or Muhammad Hijab. Uh, these are well-known pundits. Muhammad Ijab was one of them, that the Quran has been preserved for the last 1400 years, word by word, letter by letter, even dot by dot. Those are the diacritical dots. Obviously, that looks like that was not the case. Now, rather than go through the whole interview again for 28 minutes, I've gone over to Hutton Tosh's site, her Harris DCCI video that she put up today, earlier today, and I'm just borrowed it. I'm just going to show you. It's only four minutes long because she is now putting together the reaction to Dr. Yasar Qadi by the Muslim world. This is These are well-known scholars and pundits and people in authority in the Muslim world. Look and see how they've reacted to that interview that happened on June 8. Here it is. This Yasser Qadi should be shut down, his channel should be shut down, he should never be allowed to open his mouth about Islam. Wallahi, wallahi, this person is a disaster that has, has uh, uh, engulfed this ummah. When you do a deep dive is when things get very, very awkward and difficult. No, no, if you want misguidance, if you want misguidance, listen to Yasser Qadi. The preservation of the Ahruf, is it one, is it three, is it seven? Yes, Sir Al-Qadi, I accuse you. You are worse than the layman people. You failed. You failed. This is not a joke, brothers and sisters. The issue of Ahruf and Qiraat caused confusion to somebody whom the Prophet said, if you want to listen to the Quran directly, listen to Ubay. Live. We don't care. The most advanced of our scholars they're not quite fully certain how to solve all of the unanswered yes. questions in there. Yes, Sir Qadi, when you see him uh, on a video, click X. Traditional understandings of Ahruf and Qiraat cannot answer some of these pressing questions that are now being poked. When you hear him, close your ears. Lest you want to be uh, exposed to fitna. The standard narrative has holes in it. That's what I'm going to say. This quote unquote renowned scholar. He's a da'i. He does not qualify to be a scholar. I would advise Dr. Yasser Qadi to stop indulging in this because this is not his field. He's not an authority to, to, to say. 
if I were to give you a blank mushaf, yeah, and uh, and tell you to write what is munazzal verbatim from Allah into that mushaf with no human interference, would you write something which corresponds? It's with not an easy answer. It's not an easy yes or no. I think Quran this should be an Quran. easy yes or no, though. Yes, and Khadi. I, I have to. Be Okay. What would you write? Uh, 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 let's not. Let, let's. You, you're pushing me. I'm telling it to you flat out. You may not listen to anything that Yasser Qadi has to offer. Zero. Nada. Nothing. And my argument is very straightforward. So what if a lot of people said something, it doesn't make it right. The fact that 99% of your teachers say something doesn't mean it is the, the correct truth. His criticism applies to the entire Islamic tradition. Of course, anything that Yasser Qadi says at this point is probably wrong. We are at a point with Yasser Qadi where if he says the sky is blue, I have to double check three, four times. It seems like Yasser Qali is lying. That's just the reality. Yasser Qali seems to be lying. There has never been two copies of the Quran that are different even in one letter or one word. Is that, is that true? It's not true. If you were to compare two printed Qurans, you're going to see differences between them. In the second video, he's clear about, what, about the reality and he affirms the reality. So those are two different things. I wish and pray that Allah Azza wa Jal will guide him. Allah guide him, Ya Rabbi guide him. And if Allah, if Allah doesn't have it in his decree to guide him, to so that we don't have to hear him rant about any Islamic subject matter. From, from, from the accused Prophet of having ill intentions with Zainab bin Jahsh to now claiming that shirk is not shirk. What is left for this guy? Quran has, uh, the, the narrative of the Quran has holes in it. The standard narrative, what is left for this person? The standard narrative does not answer some very pressing questions. The standard narrative has holes in it. That's what I'm going to say. I'm telling you, if you continue to listen to him very soon, there will be no more foundations of Islam. They're being, they're being destroyed in front of you one after the other. I believe that he finds the topic of the Qiraat to be uh, problematic for like the, the layman audience. And therefore, he simply lied. That's what I believe. Well, what's wrong with you? You used to be a good person before. But it's Allah who guides whom he will and misguide whom he will. Well, as you can see, they are not too happy, not too happy at all. And you can see why, because if you have been brought up your whole life, and those who are Muslims have been told that the Quran is eternal, that's in chapter 85, verse uh, 21 and 22 of the Quran, that uh, no person can change it, that's in chapter 10, verse 15, in chapter 18, verse 27 and the reason that no human can change it is not only because it's pre preserved eternally but because Allah himself will guard it and that's in chapter 15 verse 9 if you have been told this since you're yay high to a grasshopper and people like Dr. Yasar Qadi who has said over and over again ad nauseum that not one word not one letter along with all these pundits nothing has changed in the last 1400 years therefore the Quran we have today is the Quran that was written down by Uthman is the Quran that was revealed to Muhammad is the Quran that has always existed in heaven alongside Allah. If that is what you've been told all your life, and here you have one of the greatest scholars considered to be one of the foremost scholars is got his doctorate on this very subject from Yale University in 1995. If he, who is, there's really not many other scholars who can make that kind of claim in the Muslim world. If he is making this claim, if he is making this admission in a private interview, not a public interview, he didn't know that many other people were going to be listening in private. What he said in private now has gone public. Then the rest of the world needs to pay attention. The rest of the world needs to wake up. That was only three years ago. And this is going to run and run and run and run. Every year we're going to remind you, Muslims, that your Quran is not preserved. Not word by word, letter by letter, dot by dot. Not anymore. Not anymore. Because one of your best, considered to be probably one of the foremost in the world, on the Quran itself, has now admitted that your Islamic narrative has holes in it. The standard Islamic narrative has holes in it. God bless you. This is Jay then. Until next year, over and out.